wander through Copenhagen in the early morning and watch the city come to life. Savor the silence before a million citizens and crowds of visitors transform the capital into a dynamic metropolis. I would describe Copenhagen as a city full of opportunities for young people and for any kind of age, actually. There are many things uh, that uh, are going on uh, in the city. Um, concerts, different kinds of music, uh, depending on what you're interested in, uh, but also in the classical uh, field, there are a lot of things which are not uh, so much in Greece, where I come from. The conservatory also has many concerts that one can uh, listen to. It's a very big city with lots of opportunities, and but it doesn't have all the bad things about our European capital. It's not chaotic at all. You can bike easily everywhere. It's a very green city, full of parks and trees, and, um, and it's a very nice city to live in. A center of business. Shopping and culture of quality living. Stroll across the palace square and wave to the Queen. See Christian's Ball, the seat of government, and glimpse members of parliament on their way to work. For musicians, I think Dikediam is a very good place to study because you can feel that it's an environment that is stimulating and inspiring. The facilities uh, at the academy are in a very good, in a very good level. Um, there are three small uh, concert halls and a big one. There is uh, plenty of space for uh, rehearsing also. You can go to the internet and book your room and then next day you have your room to practice. The atmosphere is um, very productive and inspiring for me. You also meet other people and uh, it's a very nice experience to see how this, how other people work, how they play, how they, they look into music, what's their point of view. Um, so you get many experiences on that. Walk in the footsteps of Hans Christian Andersen, Søren Kierkegaard and other great Danes. Explore the city by water or linger by the harbour side. Do as the Danes do. Enjoy an open sandwich for lunch or take a splash in the harbour right in the heart of the city. I chose the ODM because of, uh, first of all, because of the teachers that were um, teaching here. And uh, I have heard some recordings of them. So then I came for the entrance uh, exams. Academic level here at the KDM is, I think, is very high. Um, not only because there are good musicians, but it's very high also because for the impulse that they give you. Here, I mean, music is something that it's a part of your life. You come here in the morning and you stay here until the night. I mean, it's a school that is open since 7 in the morning till midnight. If your legs grow tired, borrow a free bicycle. You can go far in just a short time. Copenhagen is a compact city, accessible in its own easy-going fashion. Not only teachers are good musicians, but are good also examples on how here music is seen. I mean, when you have class with them, it's very uh, stimulating. And when you come out of your class and you're just so inspired, you're not tired at all. You just want to play more. This is the point that should be reached, that you are never sick of music, you just want to play more. They are so inspiring, I really, I'm really happy about them, really. There is um, also a relaxing atmosphere between them, there is no distance between uh, teachers and students, so much. In my country there is more. Experience the thrills of Tivoli Gardens, or walk to the beat of the city's buzzing nightlife. If you lose your heart to Copenhagen, you won't be the first. And probably not the last. I recommend everybody that uh, likes music and he's 
is focused to, to it to at least give a try and come here. And I think they will be very satisfied. You can really become a good musician if you want to. Of course, you have to practice a lot. But everything here is so stimulating and it really makes you want to become a musician. And yeah, I think it's great. So come to Copenhagen and the KDM.